Hi, and welcome to another Geek Moment Rugged Edition. Freescale is giving us a sneak peek of their new rugged family of RF devices. And what better location than the rugged deserts of Arizona to film this? Today, the family includes three different variations, a 300 watt, a 600 watt, and 1.25 kilowatt part, all of which boast an impressive visual rating of 65 to 1, which makes them perfect for high mismatch applications. We're going to show these parts using two different demos, one of which includes playing music through exploding air. Before we move on to the demos, I'd like to show you just how easy it is to find these parts on the DigiKey website. We'll start here on the DigiKey homepage. Under Tech Zones, I'm going to choose Wireless Solutions. In the Wireless Solutions page, I'm going to choose RF Components and then Amplifiers. Then we get to the Amplifier section. Since I know I'm looking for Freescale product, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and choose Freescale Semiconductor. And now this page shows all of Freescale Semiconductor's RF products that are at, listed as amplifiers. Here under the Featured section, you can see the 1.25 kilowatt, 600 watt, and 300 watt parts are listed, all with data sheets for each part. Here you can view or download any of the data sheets as you need. Now on the data sheet, at the top here you can see they have some of the common applications that, where these are used, such as laser and plasma exciters, both analog and digital broadcast, aerospace, and mobile applications. And with applications as rugged as those, you can imagine you need some fairly rugged parts. Now I'd like to show two different demos of just how rugged these parts are. In our first demo, we'll be using the high power 1.25 kilowatt parts. In this setup, we have both the rugged and non-ruggedized parts. The RF input is split into both boards. Then we have a pass-through board in our loads. The pass-through boards are set up so that we can cut the trace here, which replicates a high mismatch so we can see how both the rugged and non-ruggedized parts react to the high mismatch. And with 1.25 kilowatts of power, there's a chance of explosive failures. Safety first. Well, that was an exciting demo. Not only was the ruggedized part able to withstand the high mismatch, it was also able to continue outputting RF power, burning down the trace of the board all the way to the connector, at which point we stopped it so it wouldn't burn into the connector, damaging the board itself. The non-ruggedized part failed much more quickly with only a small flash at the opening, because at that point it failed and was not able to continue outputting any RF power. Now let's move on to a demo of 300 watt parts. So here we have our demo set up, but all this talking has left me parched. We have 50 volts DC on the drain, 2.5 volts DC on the gate, and about 150 milliamps of bias current. We're also sending one half watt of RF input at 11 megahertz carrier, and it's amplitude modulated to create the audio that you hear coming from the flame. Now we'll continue our demo with some music. now we've seen that this part is actually rugged enough to ionize the air and produce sound. We'd like to thank Freescale for inviting us out and giving us the opportunity to do this video on their site. Thanks for watching. We have 50 volts AC. Oh.